teaching students uh, welcome again to another lesson uh, another just a reminder i hope you are keeping safe at home practicing social dis social distancing washing your hands throughout and also sanitizing your hands one thing one advice uh, since you are at home uh, now it's time to do some self reflection because you are not in a mob or in a group at least when you are alone at home you can think about your future and what you want to achieve when the school reopens when we get back to school back to our normal business today we are going to learn a form 3 topic in maths which is called matrices matrices is the plural word of the word matrix so matrices comes from the word matrix is the plural of the word matrix and in the definition of matrix is it's a rectangular or a regular arrangement of numbers. So in short, it's just a regular arrangement of numbers. A good example, we'll take the Premier League table standings and I'll only use two teams here. The Premier League table standing. Premier League table. And usually, here at P, we have P, which stands for the games they are played, W for the games they have won, D, L for those which they have lost, and D, the ones which they have drew. And my two teams will be Manu, or Manchester United, and Chelsea. Let's say both they have played six games, six games. Manu won one game. And Chelsea being a better team won three games. So, from this Premier League table standing, we can create a matrix, which will be matrix A, to be 6, 1, 6, 3. Then you close them with the brackets. So when you put two numbers in a, when you pick numbers from a table or from a data, you can represent them in a matrix form. So this is matrix A. We can also add the numbers which they have lost, the games which they have lost. We can say, let's say Man United lost four games and Chelsea lost two games. We can create another matrix B, now taking all the numbers, which will be 6, 1, 4, 6, 3, 2. Then you close them in brackets. So when you represent numbers in a regular form, that's what we refer to a matrix. I can also take just the games which they lost, both for Man United and Chelsea, and call that matrix C, which will be 4, 2. 4, 2. So those are three types of matrix which we have obtained from the Premier League table standings of two teams, which is Manchester United and Chelsea. Another thing on matrix. Matrix can be represented by order. We, there's, there's what we call an order of a matrix. And the order usually tells you the number of rows and columns it has. Like matrix A is as an order of 2 times 2. A, the order is 2 times 2. 2 times 2 means this we refer to as order of a matrix. 2 times 2 means it has two rows the first row or the top row and the lower row two the other two represents columns it has two columns the first column second column what is the order of matrix b the order of matrix b will be two times three why two times three it has two rows and three columns six six is the first column one three the second column and four two the third column what's the order of matrix c matrix c the order will be two times one two times one why two times one two rows and one column so that's how you represent a matrix you state the number of rows it has and the number of columns. They, it gives you the order of a matrix. So if you say a matrix has an order of 5 times 4, it means it has 5 rows, a 
and four columns. So just to a preview of what we have talked of, we have said matrix is just a regular arrangement of numbers and a matrix has different orders and the order gives you the number of rows and columns it has. Rows and columns. Now we move to or now we can manipulate matrices. Matrices are a representation of numbers. They can be added, they can be subtracted, they can be multiplied by a scalar value, and also you can multiply a matrix by another matrix. So we look at adding, subtracting, and multiplying. And I'll give two, three examples of matrices. So let's say we say we have P, matrix P. Matrix P is five, two, three, four. And the order of matrix P is two times two, because it has two rows and two columns. We have matrix Q, which is negative 3, 4, 6, minus 2. Same order of 2 times 2. And the last matrix, we call it R, will be 2, 3. The order will be 2 times 1. 2 times 1 because of 2 rows and 1 column. 2 rows and one column. So first example, you've been told to do P plus Q. You add matrix P plus Q. So in adding matrix, you just take corresponding numbers. Like five falls in the first row and the first column. You come to Q. Which number falls, which number falls in the first row and first column? That's negative three. So you just add five plus negative three. That will give you two. Two goes with four. Two plus four. You get six. Three plus six. You get nine. Four plus negative two. That gives you two. So you just add the corresponding numbers. Five with negative three. Two with four. Three with six and 4 with negative 2. That's how you add matrices. And addition and subtraction of matrices can only be done for matrices which have the same order. So you can only add a 2 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 2 matrix. You cannot add a 2 by 2 matrix with a 2 by 1 matrix. Match for matrices to be added or subtracted, they must have the same order. Let's look at example 2. Example 2, you do 2P minus Q. 2P minus Q. So what does it? 2P. 2P it means every number in P must be multiplied by 2. So if it's 2P, you multiply every number by 2. So now it will change to be 10 because of 5 times 2. 2 becomes 4 because of 2 times 2. 3 becomes 6, 3 times 2, 4 becomes 8. Minus, my, P, my Q is, Q is just Q, remains as Q, so nothing changes. You get negative 3, 6, 4, minus 2. Just as we have done the first example, but here now the difference is we are subtracting. You take corresponding numbers. So it means 10 minus negative 3. Minus and minus gives you addition, so it's the same as 10 plus 3, which will be 13. 4 minus 4, which will give you 0. 6 minus 6 also to give you 0. And 8 minus negative 2 to give you 10. And there is your answer. So still, even subtraction, the two matrices have the same order. That's why we were able to subtract the two matrices. 
So those are the first two examples. The first one involves addition of matrices. The second involves subtraction of matrices. Swiftly move to the third example, which will be now on multiplication of two matrices. So we are still using these three matrices. Now example three, you need to do PQ. PQ. PQ means P times Q. So you multiply. So I write five, two, three, four, multiplied by minus three, four, six, minus two. 5, 2, 3, 4, that's P, multiplied by Q, minus 3, 4, 6, minus 2. There's no need of putting the sign multiplication, because brackets also still means multiplication. How do we multiply? Now, in multiplication, we don't multiply corresponding numbers. We take rows and columns. When multiplying matrices, we don't, it's wrong to say 5 times negative 3, you write 15. You take a row and multiply it with a column. So first we start with the first top row. We multiply by this first column. So how do you multiply? You say 5 times negative 3, that's negative 15. Then 2 times 6, that's 12. Then add the two numbers. So we add with negative 15 plus 12, which will give you negative 3. Uh, that's the first, the number which falls in the first column and the first row. Then take 5, 2 and multiply with the second column which is 4, negative 2. So 5 times 4, that's 20. 2 times negative 2, that's 4. 20 minus 4 or 20 plus negative 4 gives you 16. We are through with the first row. We have multiplied it with the first column and the second now let's move to the lower row, not lower row, lower row. So the same with the lower row, we multiply it with the first column, and then we multiply with the second column. So let's start with the first column. 3 times negative 3, that gives you negative 9. 4 times 6, that gives you 24. Negative 9 plus 24. That should give you, it's that easy because you use your calculator to get the answer. So negative 9 plus 24, that should give you 15. The lower row, we have multiplied with the first column. Then we multiply with the second column. 3, 4, and 4, negative 2. 3 times 4, that's 12. 4 times negative 8, that's, sorry, 4 times negative 2, that gives you negative 8. So you do 12 plus negative 8, which gives you 4. And that's your PQ. That's your PQ. So most important thing, you take a row, multiply by the two columns in the second, in the second matrix. 5, 2, you multiply with negative 3 and 6. So 5 goes with negative 3, 2 goes with 6. Then add the two products. 5 times negative 3, 5, negative 15. 2 times 6, 12. Negative 15 plus 12, again negative 3. Second, the same row, multiply with the second column so that you can get the answer for the second column. Then move to the lower row, multiply with the first column so you get the answer for the first column in the lower row. Lower row. <laughs> then take the same row, multiply with the second column to get the second answer for the lower row. That's PQ. Let's move to another example, the last example, which will be find QR. Q, that's example four, QR. So QR, so in multiplication, the matrices is not the same as for addition and subtraction. You can multiply matrices which are not in the same order because Q is minus three, four, six minus two, and R is two, Three. They don't have the same order. This is a 2 by 2. This is a 2 by 1. But still, we'll multiply the same way. You take a row and multiply by a column. So minus 3, 4, and multiply. Here we only have one column. 2, 3. So you do negative 3 times 2, negative.
negative 6. 4 times 3, 12. Negative 6 plus 12, that will give you 6. We are through. There is no other column here to multiply with. So we just move swiftly to the lower row. Lower row. You repeat it twice so that you don't say lower row. Lower row. So 6 times 2, that gives you 12. Negative 2 times 3, that gives you negative 6. 12 plus negative 6 gives you 6. And you get here, uh, the answer will be 6, 6. And that's QR. So I'm still emphasizing, when you're multiplying matrices, you take a row and multiply it with that column. And that's your answer. So that's our lesson, a review of our lesson for today. It was just a matrix. Just need to know what's the, the order, how to give the order of a matrix. And then addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So with those four examples, I'll leave you to, you can try to, you can attempt as you're practicing your self-quarantine or self-isolation. You can keep yourself busy by doing these matrices. Same, same matrices pick you and that, but now you find the first one find 2q minus p and the second you will work out qp and the third you work out pr the matrices qp and r are here this is p this is matrix q and this is matrix r I hope the, today's lesson has been really of great assistance to you and we'll continue with matrices during our next lesson. Thank you students.